37 degrees. It is like so cold. So, our first piece of mail from Nicole Lake Erie Prepper. Um, and there is rips and tears. Oh, there's another one down here. So we're lucky this made it to me. I hope everything that was in here is in here. I'm using my Mora that I got from Rick over at the pantry. Alright, stand by. We have paper goodness. Thank you. Um, sent me letter goodness and that's pretty sweet. That's awesome that you sent me one of those. Left. Thank you, love. I have a coat that has buttons on it. So that will go either on my stick of wood or it'll go on my coat. And this got smashed a little bit. It's pink. It's pink. Oh, yeah. Think about doing another tackle box clean out. So this. Just going in my tackle box. So that's awesome. If you guys don't know Nicole Lake Area Prepper, I'm going to have her link down below. She lives, her backyard is the lake. And, uh, you should see these fire tips and tips that she puts together. All the things she can put in one of those little Altoid pens. Unbelievable, you open it and there must be like 2,000 items. I don't know how to do I don't have the patience for all that. Next box. Um, ooh, and I feel like a big old, I don't know, I'm bundled up. I have two jackets on, two shirts on, and I'm still cold. Big box is from Redneck Renegade. And I saw some people opening some mail calls, Christmas calls, and uh, I'm just a little bit late. My Mora, I thought about doing a mustard patina on it, but I'm letting it slowly, it's a carbon steel. So I've been slowly trying to let it build up its own patina. And it's getting a pretty cool pattern on there. Doesn't pick up on the camera too good. This right here. Oh. Yay. That's the fun stuff. <laughs> and I have a whole box full of it. Oh, yay. Alright, I'm going to look for paper goodness, so stand by. Okay, so got everything out. I didn't see any paper goodness in the box, so here's what we got. Some North Georgia fat Oh, because you know, I'm an addict. And we have no pines. My neighbor has a couple pine trees, but uh, they paid to have those planted there um, back in like the 70s or 80s when these houses were built. God, I can smell this. I wish we had smell -o vision so y'all can smell this. I'm trying to do it without dropping any of it. Look. Look at the goodness. And I just can't describe to you how good this smells. <sighs> Look at that. Through and through, that's all resonated. Heck yes. And he gave me a nice big bundle. 
Woo! So, you know, I may just have to uh, start us up the fire. I got his ferro rod out here that he made me. And, I'm, brother, I hope you don't mind what I did to the handle. This was you wood that I made. So, we'll see. I was prepared in case I make a fire. And this is Washington Douglas Fir Foutwood. Bundled very nicely. Oh. Okay. So look at that. Big old bundle of Looks like a Yule log. <laughs> awesome. Ah, oh, looky there. Oh my gosh. Teal and black. Matches my gloves. Oh, and it's stainless. Oh, and that sucker sharp. Yay, so I got me a new one to carve some handles with. I love the handle on this. I like that rubber that's on there. It helps with the grip. Especially when your hands are old like mine and you have a hard time gripping and you drop things like not once but 12 times. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm going to shave some of this down and I'll spin the camera around to my little messy experiment tabletop here and we'll fire it up. Or Lake Erie, Nicole, Lake Erie Purple. You need to get on over to their channels. I'll have their links down below. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. I got a bunch of videos coming up that I want to do. I'm going to do a super marathon, uh, kind of a New Year's 2019 uh, marathon shout out video, or two or three, because there's so many people that, you know, I said I would do shout out for and I didn't get to it being sick or otherwise. What's left of my little bitty fire? Oh yeah, my folding stove. I got that over on YouTube or YouTube eBay. And I think I paid a whole buck for it and free shipping. I had to wait like 30 days to get it. Keep life random outdoors. Remember to do a random act of kindness for strangers. Remember our boys and girls deployed around the world who can't be home with their families. As always, you know it. Here it comes. Think of it. Back to blue.